adaptado a cuatro rounds en la división de peso completo. Best ready for four rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Your three judges going to bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces. Jesse Hernandez, Sergio Lechuga y Alejandro Rochín. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action. Su referee para este combate, el profesor Fernando Rentería. Introducing first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He wears blue trunks with white trim. He officially weighs in 291 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina azul. Con pantalones de color azul con blanco. Con un peso de 291 libras. And tonight, he makes his pro debut. Haciendo su debut profesional. Representando a Tijuana, Baja California, México. Y Manor. Con tres. Representing Albuquerque, New Mexico, by the way, at Odinsovo, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce him. Dami y Gaspada, Pajalosta, Dabro Pajalovic, Leonid, The Lion, Gancho! And now with the final instructions, con las indicaciones finales, su rebel, Profesor Fernando Rentería. Four rounds, cuatro asaltos. Props to Pablo Flores doing the introduction in Russian too. This, how many languages does this guy speak? He said eight. I'm, <laughs> I, I joke. I don't. <laughs> but, right. that, but that was interesting, man. Good for him, bro. That, that, was, that was good. That was awesome. And you could tell that uh, Leonid, Leonid, he's, he's very excited to hear yeah, that. He, you must appreciate that. Well, here we go. Gratchev in the white shorts. The lion taking on his short notice opponent, Contreras, in the blue corner, blue shorts. Southpaw is Contreras. And Contreras comes out Southpaw. That must be a little tricky, you know, for your pro debut. Um, and he's a last-minute replacement. So you could most likely tell that Gratchev didn't have time to prepare for a Southpaw opponent. No, definitely not. And, uh, I mean, I wonder if he even knew that his opponent was a Southpaw. And, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. A little oh. crazy little slip there. Just maybe... Uh, just a cross of feet there from Gratchev. And Gratchev. now he... Gratchev kind of doing that little, you know, he does that paw block. Uh, you know, kind of like po you know, poking a jab, blocking his opponent's jab, trying to get over the top with that jab and follow the right hand. Contreras complaining about a little shot behind the head maybe. Corners himself to the ropes, does Contreras. Ducks under a cross from Gratchev. Gratchev calm. Both fighters calm, actually, in their pro debuts, you know. Sometimes they come out, they get a little excited, they start rifling right off the bat, but these both guys having a nice little feel-out round in this four-round second fight of our best in boxing show here. Ooh, nice right hand lands from Gratchev. And Contreras moves pretty well for being a, a big boy, you know, and having that, that Dunlap syndrome right there. Already does. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that belly Dunlapped over his belt there. <laughs> but a uh, little blood uh, leaking from the nose of Contreras. So obviously, oh, oh another man. nice right hand from Gratchev. Gratchev is. That was a hard one, too, by Gratchev. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the calm demeanor of Gratchev. Got that uh, uh, Ivan Drago look to him. Yeah, he does. Nice over-the-top jab And there. Contreras took it, but he's... He's bleeding from the nose now, man. That was right on the button, and he took it. He ate it, and that that nose is flowing, man. Flowing good. Yeah, that was a hard shot. Oh, as he wipes that nose there. And it's difficult when you get hit with such a hard shot in the opening round when you're still cold. Oh, speaking of another hard shot, nice left hook to the temple of Contreras by Gratchev. Gratchev kind of having his way so far in this first round, just touching up Contreras. Already got him leaking out that nose. Ooh, I can see it. It's just dripping like a sieve. Starting to get on his shoes and on the ring here. And he's going to regret that he chose to wear white gloves, white shorts, oh, yeah. and white shoes for his pro debut. Ooh, Gratchev probably won't be able to wear those shorts again. But, ooh, I don't think he's going to care that much if he gets that If he gets the W. victory, you're yeah. right. 
wonder if Grachev, you know, he's been pretty much headhunting this so far and being very successful at it, but I wonder if Grachev is going to mix it up maybe in the second round and, and maybe go for that soft body of Contreras. Here's one thing I say, and I say this all the time, so if you heard this before, don't mind me, okay? It's either you have a six-pack or you have a keg. <laughs> and Contreras has a keg. So maybe, maybe Grachev knows not to go to that keg because it's not going to do anything. <laughs> so so you think he might have like a, a it's almost like an organic uh, oh, a belly pad right. he's wearing there. <laughs> yeah, <tonight>. absolutely. <laughs> That's what it is. I, I couldn't Boy, afford one, so I just grew one. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, go replay. We're going to take a look at the replay here. What are you seeing here in this replay, Chris? This is just... just Overpowering is Grachev over Contreras. He's just overpowering him. He's, he's the much better fighter, um, more schooled, you know, 60 amateur fights. That, that's a lot. I don't think we could say the same about Contreras having 60 amateur fights. Looks like his corner has done a decent job uh, of controlling that blood flow there from, from his nose. Uh, Contreras coming back out with the jab here. Looks like he seemed to compose himself. Uh, Nose is. I think it's starting a leak once again. They, yeah, they, you they can see wiping it. Yeah. yeah, they managed to to stop it, but it's coming. One more, one more jab or across to that nose, and ooh, yeah, man, there and it is. There it is, right there. Oh, Contreras says, you know, oh. Putting his foot down. Maybe yeah. he said, man, enough's enough. I need to start getting this party started here or else I'm just going to take it all night long. And goes heavy for just maybe two exchanges. He's really trying to land that overhand left. Not really setting it up with a jab or anything, though, Chris. He's not setting it up, but but you know what? He's doing the right thing. Um, is Contreras, something that we didn't see Jorge Garcia doing in the first fight, is to just bite down and, and fucking try to win. Yeah. You know, make an effort as we didn't see in our first bout where Jorge Garcia didn't make much of an effort at all. You know, Contreras is biting down and he's trying to trying to land his shots. At least he's trying, yeah. He, he, and, 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 and maybe Grachev is kind of uh, you know, taking a pause now and not being as aggressive as, as, he's, as he's expecting this counter overhand lefts here from Contreras. Uh, and it's nice to see Grachev kind of just know what's going on in the fight and just kind of adjust to the fight as it happens. Steps in again with that cross, clinches up with Contreras in, the, in his own red corner. And, and you have to remember, guys, that um, this is a heavyweight bout. So, you know, any shot can, can put your lights out. You know, Contreras can, can go ahead and throw that haymaker, like you said, Brandon, and just knock him on his butt. Yeah, that's the crazy thing about heavyweights is that it could, all, it could just one punch can end it at any time when they carry that kind of power and that weight. Um, and so we, you know, but it's nice to see the lion, Grachev, just kind of, oh, take his time and set up big shots like that big cross he just landed. Yeah, that was a solid right hand that he threw. And, and Contreras is starting to show these, these shots that are being landed on his face more and more. See if he comes out for the, for the third round. Yeah, you, you even though we have a minute left here in round number two. Yeah, I mean, you might, you might hopefully if you can make it to the third round right now. Now, I, I noticed, you know, uh, Contreras keeps moving towards the power hand of, of Grachev. Yeah. And, and when you're fighting, uh, you know, an opposite stance, you, you want to try to move away from that hand, right, Chris? And typically, like, that's all you learn if you are a southpaw to have your right foot on the outside of, you know, the right-handed fighter. Uh, but he's not doing that. Yeah, and uh, you can tell right. by, his, by, by the red paint all over his chin and nose here. Coming from that busted nose. And hopefully he's not broken, but man, it sure is bleeding. Oh, oh, God, oh that was the one right there. Oh, man, a huge right hand from the Lion. Kratchev puts down Contreras for the first time. Hey, yep. Takes his standing eight count from the referee. Mm, referee takes one look at him and says, uh, "Yeah, even though he enough. was gonna, he was gonna rest for a minute. It didn't seem like the right move to to let him keep go fighting. He was completely outmatched. That right hand was landing hard. He was he had welts on him already, and it was only two rounds. 
No, the, the referee made a right stop. Sometimes I disagree. I agree in this case. Well, and I'll tell you what, you know, a lot of people say, well, they, well where's the consistency? You know, people have to realize this is a debut fight for these guys. So, I mean, if it's like a, you know, a fight between uh, two uh, experienced fighters for a title or some sort, maybe the ref lets You give let them the benefit go. of yeah. the doubt, but, but not in this case. Early in these careers, it's best to protect the fighter so, like, they can live to fight another day. Right, Chris? Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't think um, Contreras was going to change anything in that third round and you know um we could see him it's not on the camera because we're showing the victor in grachev but it, oh man he, he look, he's looking like he's having a bad time right now and the blood keeps flowing yeah they just wiped they, it off and it's already but coming it, co out. it yeah. continues to flow coming on that replay? yeah so and they're they're patching up that eye yeah you he, know. he was starting to wear it quite a bit on his face and uh, uh fortunately for grachev Made a quick night of his pro debut. Unfortunately for Contreras, it was a quick night for his pro debut as well, but not... Not in his favor. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not correct, in his favor man. at all. Yep, absolutely. So that will conclude our second fight of tonight's best in boxing card. Seven scheduled fights as we move 18. on. Red corner. Some really red exciting corner. fights. Next up, hey, we got Wade corner. Jones, the third, coming You're out of supposed Stockton. We've seen him out the best boxing a couple the, times. Uh, had a couple same, vicious uh, KOs. Had a same area, crazy okay? KO, body words. shot KO the, in his uh, last uh, appearance here at Best in Boxing. Uh, so we're definitely uh, excited uh, to see uh, Wade, Wade Jones. Actually, he has a short uh, notice uh, replacement. Uh, but before we go, there, let's take a look at this replay here. You see there's that big right hand, and that puts down Contreras and ends the fight there. Yeah, th those were just hard, straight right hands landed by Grachev, man. Look at that one right Bing, on the bang, button. Boom. And that's it for Contreras. We're going to Pablo Flores for the official announcement. Damas y caballeros, este combate llega a su fin con un tiempo oficial. Dos minutos cincuenta y nueve segundos en el segundo asalto. We have the official time, two minutes and fifty-nine seconds in round number two. Declaring the winner by the way of TKO victory. Subvencedor por la vía del knockout técnico. Albuquerque, New Mexico. And Odinsovo, Russia. Tami y Gaspada. Leonid, the Lion. Gracho! So, Brandon, Brandon, we're going to go.